Welcome again to Mission Focus here at ACC Elevation Community Chapel with you. It's Grace Njoki, and it's an exciting time. I believe that at this particular time, the gospel is going to go wide. So I'm here to just allow you, allow me to make this known to you that indeed we were saved so that we could go ye and make disciples of all nations. And one of the grand things that I've come to realize with salvation is that salvation is just an amazing gift that God gave us. And this came to us through the person of Jesus Christ. And of course he came, lived his life, he died, he resurrected. And of course with his ascension, he has left us the work as his witnesses. He his ambassadors. We are his workmanship here on earth to propel this gospel and, you know, go ye into the world and preach teaching disciples, making them know what Christ has done so that they can live for the benefit of themselves and definitely for the whole, you know, uh, entire lives that they have here on earth. So tonight I want to speak about um, there's no greater name than the name of Jesus. This is the name by which you have been given so that by the name of the Lord, whoever calls on, upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, in the book of Acts chapter 4 from verse 11, it's a very interesting word right there. And this is Peter who was actually preaching. This is a guy apparently who had gone on to reject, oh, deny Jesus for like three times. And this guy apparently when after the ascension of Christ, he was filled with the Holy Ghost. And he comes out and preaches to guys. And guess what? Without even having to do any theatrics, he preached a message that was so deep that it cut into the people's heart. Everyone around him was like, okay, what do we do so that we may be saved? So let me tell you what you need to understand about this scripture. It says, this is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. A lot of religious folk do not understand that the whole entire gospel is centralized or is focused on one man. The man is Jesus. He's our superhero. He's the superstar. He is our celebrity. So we preach him because his name is, there's no name greater than his name. At the sound of his name, people get saved. So when we go ye into the world, we are going with one mission preaching Jesus Christ. So the Bible says in verse 12, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no any other name under heaven given among men by which must be saved. When you go into the book of, of course, Romans chapter 10, you'll find out about, you know, so many things that Paul wrote about, wonderful things concerning the risen King Jesus. You know, all Israel will be saved. The whole world will be saved. This is what we are preaching today because we know before the world comes to an end, this gospel must reach the entire globe. It has to go throughout Africa. We have to go into the world, into America, North America, South America. We have to go to Europe. We have to go to Asia. We have to go baby, to Antarctica take nations just preaching jesus christ and at the sound of jesus when we preach jesus revealing his glory men will be saved so here at mission focus that's what we are focusing on and we want ma as many people to get into this bandwagon because we have made salvation like it's not an interesting thing yet you and i we are living proofs that we are testimony of Jesus and the work of salvation. So guys, I want you to understand that you are a witness as long as you're saved, as long as you've received the peace of God. Someone, someone in Honduras might not have even experienced or known the, or revealed to about the glory of God. But guess what? When we arm ourselves and we get ready to go and preach this gospel, guess what? The Honduras folk are going to come to the Lord. The same thing would happen in Africa. The same thing would happen in America, South America, or North America. America. The same thing would happen in the whole of Europe and even Asia. Let me tell you, with all the conflicts going on in, you know, Hamas and Israel or stuff that is going on in Ukraine and Russia, the name of Jesus can save folk. And I believe you and I have been called into the mission field to fulfill this great commission to go ye into all the world, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, baptizing nations and discipling folk so that before the return of the Lord and when he comes, we are going to be a powerful force a living organism here on earth because that's what Christ left us with. He gave us power in his name. Hallelujah. He gave us authority 
in his name. In the name of Jesus, people get healed. In the name of Jesus, demons are cast out. Even demons submit and subject themselves to the name of Jesus. Why? Because this man is the only one who could take away the fall of man from Genesis all the way throughout eternity. And so when Jesus died, he, he made sure of one thing, that in his death, he gave us his life. In his death, he took away the poverty. He took away the sicknesses. He took away the infirmities, the diseases. He took away depression. He took away anything and everything that could come against you. When Jesus died on that cross, he took away chaos. He took away disorder. And so that you and I can experience the joy of the Lord and the peace that actually surpasses all mankind understanding. I don't know how excited you are, but I am so excited about mission and going ye into all the world. World. So basically, guys, just get yourself hooked up with Jesus and let's tell the whole world concerning what he has done and so that the world can come to this grace, to the same peace, the joy of the Lord, the unconditional love that we have received from him. So guys, folks, <laughs> this is Mission Focus airing every Friday in the evening. And I will just want to pray with one, in, any one of you right now that wants to give their hearts and their lives to Jesus. So I need you to know that it is just as simple as accepting Christ into your heart. This is where he, re, he, he has residence in us. This is where he comes in and lives. And, you know, he takes over our lives. So basically, you're out there. Probably you are wondering, you know, I've tried all kinds of religion, but I don't know what Christianity will do. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not just about Christianity, but religion relationship with Jesus. Once he comes and he becomes your focus, your life will never be the same again. So I need you to just open your heart and, you know, confess with your own mouth. I'll read a scripture before that so that you can understand what we're about to um, get you involved with. And it's so simple to the point that once you get to understand how this word works, it will work for you and it will work for you tremendously. So just, uh, you will I will ask you to confess this in your heart and believe. And it's just basically very, very powerful. And you, you get to understand from the word when, where uh, we'll be reading from. It is in the book of, we're reading from the book of Romans chapter 10 from verses 6. But the righteousness of faith speaks this way. Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven. That is to bring Christ down and from above. Or who will descend into Hades? This is to bring Jesus Christ from the dead. But what does it say? This is the word that I need you to understand so that you can pick up from that. Well, the word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we are preaching to you. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So it's just a matter of you're asking yourself, I am a Christian, but I'm, I've never been born again. Today, you have, you have a way that you can be, actually, you can be saved today. And therefore, I'm asking you to repeat these words after me. Just say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I confess my sins to you, and I ask you to cleanse me and wash me by your precious blood. Today, I, I, I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. Today, I ask you, Jesus, to take over my life. Bless me with your Holy Spirit so that I can start a journey with you. I confess that I'm a new creation through you. And therefore, I'm born again. I'm saved through you, Jesus, and the finished work that you wrote for us at the cross. So if you just say that prayer, I want you to know that you have become born again today. Join in into a church and I welcome and extend a hand of invitation to our church here at Elevation Community Chapel. You can find us here at Royal Tulip, first floor every Sunday. And we will welcome you. We will love on you. We will share the joy of the Lord with you so that you can know that you are so important that Jesus died for you. So therefore, tell the devil he has nothing on you. Tell the devil he has nothing and let the peace of God, the joy of the Lord and the unconditional love of Christ settle in your life as you begin this beautiful journey. And then, you know, get into a Bible believing, you know, group 
of friends that actually share with the same faith that you have. And then from there, you will grow into an amazing person, an amazing, great person here on this world. So God bless you so much. Until the next time, see you on Mission Focus. God bless you.